Hello again, Cons here. Um, apparently this is the part of the video where I justify the video itself, which seems to be a common theme lately. But uh, yeah, recently I talked about using the Kinsect as a last resort method to fairly easily take out 80 Dami. But I thought I'd post a real run onto the video and with some sort of more in-depth tutorialization, just some actual tips on some uh, an, a more legitimate form of gameplay uh, without trying to step on too many toes. Um, and you know, it's been a long time since I've posted Charge Blade footage to the channel. Often I'll play Greatsword. I did do this with Greatsword and I got decent times. I did with Bow as well. Um, I got a couple sub 10s. But I thought, you know, Charge Blade is a fun time. So anyway, you see me running from camp. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get Drunk Bird. I'm not going to reset for Drunk Bird and for Gadgets. I tried it and it wasn't worth doing. Uh, but yeah, you see the sort of opener that I do is pretty standard. Uh, I got a bit unlucky here. I accidentally popped the Nami with the, with the pod. It, it's not really a huge deal, to be honest with you. It just cuts off one row. You can start off with Rocksteady straight away. I don't like doing that. I like to preserve the Rocksteady as long as I can because I'm not very good at the game. But it's not really a huge deal. You can find a good opener for you. But this is what I usually go for. Um, I like to get my files all charged up and, and don't forget to run Focus 3 if, if you're having trouble getting this off. Uh, I don't normally get the charge sword off there either. But yeah, nice SAD to start off with. Often it'll do a second row depending on how lucky you get with the open and that's not really a huge deal for me. But uh, yeah, standard opener stuff. Be sure to block these. These attacks are quite devastating and you'll see that I'm running Guard 5. I don't know if I showed the build. I might edit in here, but I'll definitely show it towards the end of the video. Um, yeah, Guard 5 is kind of essential for this fight. The laser beams have like multi hitboxes for some reason. Um, so if, if they hit you with Rocksteady on, for example, you are essentially dead. Um, so yeah, having Guard 5 on the set, it, it allows you to block those moves and also it means you take a lot less knockback. So it's just generally worth using in my opinion. Um, I should say, uh, I got inspired to do this fight uh, from seeing Aki and HCRS. Um, I'd kind of given up on the Charge Blade matchup. I'd, I'd moved on to Greatsword because that's what I always do when I struggle with the matchup. But then I saw his run and I thought, uh, you know. And while I'm on the subject of, of, uh, of justifying and seeing as there's not anything that important going on here, Waterproof Mantle, I mean, you know, I've talked about this in the Kinsect video, but Waterproof Mantle just stops you from getting knocked around. Um, and obviously I've, I've used my whetstone to, to, uh, with protective polish. I don't think I'm running Iron Prolong, I couldn't fit it onto the set, but it's not really that huge a deal. Um, but yeah, you can see that I got hit once with that with Rocksteady on and I still had to guard it afterwards and it did a ton of damage, so be careful. You'll also see that I'm running a Health Augment on my Charge Blade. Um, even though I'm running Safi, I'm not running Resentment just because I think it's quite important to stay at full health. Um, so yeah, that, that's the reason I'm running Health Augment and not bothering with that skill. But yeah, as I was saying in regards of justification, I try not to post runs that are too slow. This is roughly 10 minutes. I say under 10 minutes just because, you know, I also I, I skip forwards because nothing interesting is happening. You just got a Nova, the, a Superman, the Nova. But uh, yeah, I try not to post too bad runs. I say under 10 minutes because I didn't get Drunk Birds and obviously Drunk Birds would push this to under 20, uh, 10 minutes. If I was actually speed running on, on a, in a serious capacity, then I would have reset for Drunk Birds and easily have shaved off another 30 seconds for my time. Also, each gadget is something like 5% of its HP because it's like a full SAED, you know, 1500 damage, which is pretty huge. Um, but yeah, this is what I like to do the moment it runs out of range and it moves to the second area. I like to uh, get, get my files back up and I like to uh, knock it into a wall. It's going to roar immediately. Now, I do kind of regret. So the thing is, when it becomes this dehydrated state, it uh, its raw hit zones are a lot more, but its fire hit zones are a lot less. So you'll see here, for example, I'm trying to be cute and use the axe mod. I'm not really used to doing this. I'm still This is still quite early in my attempts. But uh, yeah, there's definitely something to be said for not wasting too many files here and just prioritizing. Oh, I didn't mention this actually, and, and I use this in later runs. But if you sleep Nami, and there are two sleep toads here, so you can pull it to sleep. And I do do this later run, but I don't time it during dehydration. But if you sleep Nami while it's dehydrated, and you can see I'm not actually using my files and my SAD until it rehydrated there. I did a whole bunch of sword attacks. But uh, yeah, if you sleep it, it actually rehydrates, which is a really nice time saver. Um, and a pretty standard Clagger Claw there to extend the timer. Um, yeah, this is the first of the two Sleep Toads. I was playing a little bit Tunnel Vision there, so I missed it. But uh, you'll see I now run towards the second one to try and proc the Sleep, because, uh, you know, every little bit of DPS helps. I should really have waited for it to dehydrate, just to clarify again. And I should have loaded up on Slinger Ammo, which will come into play in the future. But anyway, I keep trying to say it. But uh, yeah, I try not to post runs that are too bad. Generally, I try to go for like 50% above, uh, at most, the better speedrunners times. And I've seen times around sort of 6.30 for this. So this run seemed... Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop justifying. But yeah, put it to sleep. Uh, use a nice big wake up attack. This is all pretty standard strategy, to be honest. And I guess I should talk more about general strategy, shouldn't I? With Charge Blade, it's mostly bring the cat to draw aggro and kind of spam SADs. Um, oh, and there you get an example of why I bring Guard 5, by the way. Um... 
But yeah, there's a lot of trading involved. There's a lot of guarding involved. And the other thing is Nami's slide attack and a few of its other moves can really get out of the way of uh, SAEDs. So you kind of just got to throw them out there and hope for the best. Um, I, you'll see, you've probably seen it a few times here, but I haven't, like, I've taken my time with my moves. So rather than instantly going into my sword combo, sword, shield, bash, SAED, you'll see I'll delay a tiny bit. Or I'll use other moves where possible. I'll, I'll try to sort of spend some time doing some other things. Just because I, 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 want, I want to gauge. Like if, if there's a move that I know that Nami likes to use the slide right afterwards. I like to sort of take my time and gauge whether or not it's it's about to use the slide. In which case I would maybe save my fire holds or use something else. Um, like here for example. I kind of expected the slide. So I used an AED. I should have SAED'd there. I'm, I'm an idiot. But but uh, but that's the sort of thing that you see me doing. Anyway, the Palico. I didn't really mention it. But I like to bring Paralysis on my Palico. Especially because there's two sleep toads here, you can get the sleep uh, status on your own. The paralysis can be quite nice. It's basically just a free SAED. Um, and you'll see that the link, the hitbox towards the end of that uh, side sweeping laser is actually really kind of um, absent mostly. So it is fairly safe. Um, you get used to that after a while of practice, to be honest. You might as well just guard just to be safe. But here, for example, that was a, a bad timing. You see me delay my SAED slightly because I knew that it was a chance it would slide. But uh, I kind of wanted to commit to it, especially because this was a half decent run and I wanted to try and play quickly. So yeah, not, not a great decision. But here, for example, you see me using a few extra sword attacks just to gauge what's coming next. And then you see I expect it to slide, so I use an AED. Um, yeah, that kind of, uh, that sort of thing comes with practice mostly. But just seeing it here hopefully gives you an idea of, of maybe how to incorporate that into your own gameplay. And I'm, I'm not doing a particularly good job of it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Of course, the roars when it enrages are basically a free SAED. It's kind of a little bit of a toss-up depending on how Namiel reacts, but most of the time I've noticed that it tends to let you get away with it. Now here I tried to do something clever with the clagger drop, but um, yeah, well, yeah you, you saw what happened. I was going to edit that out, but then I thought, no, I should show you my, my fuck-ups. <laughs> but yep, there's, you see, as you can see, even in Axe mode, more than enough time to, to sheathe and then Superman the Nova. If I'd had Slinger ammo here, I could have knocked it into a wall and maybe finished it, but yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead to uh, to its final area. And uh, pretty standard knock-up business. Now, I've noticed that this sleep doesn't seem to rehydrate when it wakes up. I don't know the specifics on how the mechanics work. But, uh, yeah, when it wakes up, it will be out of rage mode. So it's maybe worth, especially if you struggle with the fight, taking it to a wall and then getting yourself a free wall, uh, a free wall flinch. But uh, I think I'll do that in a bit. But for now, I just want to load up my file so I can take advantage of it and hopefully get it to rehydrate first. Although, uh, I believe it doesn't really play along. Um, yeah, I, I kind of wasted a bit of time waiting for it to rehydrate, so I just ran around in circles for a bit. So I thought I'd just show you me getting the wall bang after I gave up on that. Um, it's been knocked. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty sad. You see me wall banging, you see me loading up my files, and, and then just sort of throwing out SAEDs, but also trying to predict Nami's, uh, Nami's slip and slide so that I don't waste too many files. Um, the cat, again, is really important for drawing aggro, in my opinion. It, it really opens up some nice uh, SAED opportunities. I don't know how this monster is uh, in terms of matchups. Like, oh, and by the way, the other mantle I take is rock steady for obvious reasons. But uh, I don't know how the uh, the matchup is uh, in terms of like savage axe or, or maybe even sword mode spam. That's not really my preferred charge blade playstyle. Uh, I like to throw out those big energy um, SADs. And yeah, so fairly simple stuff. You just see me sort of trading around, throwing them out there where I can, and just trying to gauge Nami's attacks, keeping a, a little bit ahead of the curve. I'll pull out the set now and just show you what it is. I'm using the Kia Fire charge blade with five piece safi you can see five points of guard you can see mostly the standard charge blade skills focus for any any sad build um capacity boost and protective polish it, again it's, it's all fairly standard charge blade stuff if you don't have the car charge blade then feel free to run whatever the old meta fire charge blade was probably just safi with maybe master's touch uh, i'm not sure what the old what the old meta was or three piece and and maybe two piece for crit element i don't know i don't know what, whatever the meta fire charge blade was before uh, before Kiara Fire came out. Um, yeah, you see I'm running three points of health boost because there's so much trading involved. Uh, I like to have three po uh, the three points of health boost as a sort of buffer for all of that uh, health regen augment that I get from my SAEDs. I don't really think there's anything that much more interesting left to say. Yeah, play it slowly, play it safely. Um, sort of take your opportunities carefully, but don't be afraid to just throw SADs out there. Uh, you can kind of gauge when the slide is coming as you get used to the fight, and you can throw out your SADs to try and catch it, but it's, it's not a huge deal. Uh, Bo especially, I think, takes advantage of that. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling now, so I will probably end the video. I hope this helped, um, especially if you're using Charge Blade, but also the tips just generally if you're not. Um, see the Kinsec video for a, a sort of more overall tips for low DPS playstyles or just general, but uh, yeah, things like Poison Smokes and Aggro. Anyway, 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 bye-bye. Anyway. Love you.